has a flat side and one side of the circle. Thank you. One side of the circle is flat, the top edge, and then this edge has two extensions, just like your size two matrix bands for amalgam, and so that goes toward the gingiva. Okay? Thank you very much. Um, you don't want, when you put it on around the tooth, you want to make sure that you don't bend the ring too much. Mine got a little bent out of shape because this is what's going to tighten the plastic around the band. So you need to squeeze it from the outside and that'll push the metal toward the tooth and that cinches it up, okay? Hmm. So, which is why it's called a pinch matrix because you pinch it, okay? Hmm. The caveat to this, you pinch it too hard. You have to run the potential of tightening your, well, it'll be this one. You, have the t uh, you can accidentally tighten this too much, and then the band won't touch the adjacent tooth, and then you don't have a contact. You have an open contact. Okay, so don't tighten it too much. That's the big thing with these. Okay. Which is why I don't always let students yeah. use them. I want to be sure that that band is touching the adjacent tooth. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to really try hard not to make anybody dizzy. Okay. 